These two athletes are both highly experienced and highly respected indoor shooters. Bolch has shot in these finals many times and had medals at this event in the past. Girard, a couple of weeks ago, equaled the world record with a perfect score of 600 out of 600 in a qualifying round. So time for the compound men's gold medal match. Nicholas Girard of France on target number one will shoot first against his more experienced compatriot, Jean-Philippe Bouche. Round number 59 will get the gold medal match started. This is how you start a gold medal match. Absolute perfection from both so far. Nine measure for Gerard. Can Bush get the perfect? Yes, he can. Perfect start for JP Bush for a 30. We wait for the measure on Nicolas Girard's third arrow. Did you get a feel for that third arrow, John? Well, it wasn't the cleanest shot he made. His front arm was dipping down a bit as he, his shot broke. It's going to be on the line. Let's see what the judge says. Sounds like it has been marked up, both finishing with perfect scores despite the drop in form on process. It's 30 apiece between Girard and Bulsh. As we go into the second end here. Seems to be a little bit more explosion on Girard's back arm on the release, John. Any thoughts on that? He has a really aggressive attacking shot, which isn't always the norm for uh, this kind of indoor shooting. But as I said to you in the build-up, he has been the, the man shooting the big scores this indoor season around, around Europe. Time for end number two, all square between the two French athletes, Girard and Bouche. Neither have missed the 10 so far. Bit of a snatch on that one. I think he was rushing the shot. I wonder if the time was counting down and the result is a nine. And Bolsh is just putting him inside out in the Tem ring at the moment. Twenty-nine for Girard. Twenty-nine for Bush. His first drop points here. So fifty-nine. 
Now, at the moment, it's showing 59.60, but I got uh, Girard's second arrow as a nine, John. I'm surprised that's going to a measure. I'm even more surprised that Bolsh dropped his last one low. He looked so solid. Well, we wait for the scores to be confirmed. Definitely looked low for it. Bolsh on his third arrow. Just had a bit of a dip, I suspect, on the on the site as he was executing. And that's the result. Low nine. Looks like it has been uh, recalculated to a 29 for Girard as well. So 59 plays 59 is confirmed here in Meme. So Girard will shoot first. Number three. See that backhand curling away as Girard releases the shot. See the difference with uh, Bush and his release. He gave that a bit of English on the front as he tried to correct it. He must have known the dot was not over the middle. And you saw him swing his front arm across, trying to save the 10. But unfortunately, there was nothing he could do. And Bolsh really didn't look happy with that 10. That's perfectly in the 10. I don't know what's going on with him. I couldn't see anything odd. Nine called on the third arrow for Girard. Puts him on an 87. A perfect second one for Bush. Puts him on an 89. Now, another curious one for me. I thought the third arrow from Girard was in the 10. I'm, I'm really shocked I got called as a nine. Yeah, we wait again for the scores to be confirmed amended of course potentially Bolsh keeps shaking his head but every time he shakes his head his arrow is clearly inside the tank yeah, the archers though perfectionists perhaps not fully satisfied with his uh, execution We go into end number four here. With Girard trailing against his French compatriot, Bouche. good into that top target 10 every time from Girard same though from Bolsch with his first arrow going into bottom left it's interesting that Girard actually has four fletchings on his arrow four plastic veins on the back it's very rare to see that but it's definitely working really well for him Bolsch had some forward movement then. Yeah. Good spot. Did you see as he came into the final anchor position, his hand just went forward and that'll move where the arrow is in the bow and it's very hard then to save a 10. 
Well, first perfect from Nicolas Girard. Puts him on a 117. A 9 will match that from Borges. A 10. A 10 keeps him in the lead, but a 29 and some significant movement spotted by John Knott uh, from JP Bulsh. So just go over that again, please, John. So he's getting what we call creep. Yeah. So he's just losing his back pressure and the arrow is creeping forward. But because of how the compound bows work, that actually moves how the arrow will shoot. So it won't act. It's really hard for him to still achieve a 10 at that point. And what are the reasons for creep? Is it is it fatigue potentially? Nerves. Yeah, just a bit of nervous, and you you creep off the what they call the back wall, which is how far the string should pull back. So you just as you're holding your anchor and you're a bit nervous, your hand goes forward along your face, and uh, yeah, it's uh, a compound archer's worst nightmare. Well, suffering from creep, JP Bulsh has allowed yeah. Nicola Girard to close back by a single point. But Girard still trails as we go into the fifth and final regulation end. It's 118 plays, 117. Bulsh leading this all French compound men's gold medal match. On for a measure that first arrow marked on the scoreboard provisionally as a nine. Much better form then from Bolsh sorted that out. Another one that's gone for a measure. Uh, messy because of how close the groupings are on the targets for Girard. Difficult for the uh, target judge to make his call. Potentially finishing with a 28 there, Girard. Bangs it into the 10 for a 29. Now, if my math is right, that's a, a 147. If that stays the same for JP Borsch, but there's two potential markups for Nicolas Girard. The first two. Looks like the agent is happy for JP Bulsh. So 145 notionally on the board for Nicholas Girard. This measure is so important. Needs both to be converted to tens. Ten nine nine called for Girard. 10, 10, 9 called for JP Bush, and he has taken this gold medal match here in the compound men's division at the Nîmes Archery Tournament of 2022. He will stand on top of the podium at the first international event of the calendar year. What a performance from the pair of them there. Thought at one point that Girard was going to get himself back into that. Yeah, on that fourth end, Bolsch had a couple of quite scary moments with a suffering with a bit of creep in his form. But he came through it and he absolutely go nutted that last arrow he needed to secure the tent.
a fabulous match up there between Nicolas Girard and compatriot from France, Jean Philippe Bouche. Both starting off with perfect scores, both dropping a single point in the second. It all opened up in the third for JP Bouche. And he saw his way out of the competition with a second perfect score and two 29s to take gold here in Nîmes. 